Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here doing another lesson of Bootstrap. If you want to see the page that I w have done so far, feel free to go to this link. But basically, it's currently a one page layout. And you can see right now, I just have one single column down the middle of the page. Okay, so one single column down the middle, and it might seem a little bit boring. Um, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to have three columns for the middle section. So just before we do that, I'll introduce you to the grid system of Bootstrap. So basically, if you think of the Bootstrap uh, grid system like a table, a new row can have up to 12 columns. So it's up to you how you decide to divide that up. So let's say you have three columns in your row. So what you can do is you can have instead of one single row with 12 columns, you can have a row with three columns that take up four columns each. So let's color this using another color. So let's say I have three, se three separate columns and each column takes up four rows oops use a different color all right so you can see here instead of having a single column with that takes up 12 columns worth of space right i have three separate columns each column takes up four columns worth of uh width so it, that's basically what we're going to do right now but you can also do it in a lot of other ways so for example if you want to have six columns you can go two two and just uh, so I'm just gonna copy that so just do that so you have six columns each column taking up um, two different columns with uh, or if you want you can just have 12 columns so that's up to you how you want to organize it but I'm gonna do this row where I separate my 12 columns into uh, three three sets of four columns so now, um, if you didn't understand any of that, hopefully you'll get it after I draw, if I've, after I write it out. So instead of here, my hobbies, I play basketball, tennis, and do magic tricks. And then I got a picture. I'm gonna get rid of the picture, okay? And here I'm going to separate into three columns. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna firstly create a new row. So div class equals row so that creates new row and slash div so within this div within this section I'm going to be able to create different columns so what am I going to create or well, I'm going to create a new column now here is where you specify the device now I'm going to talk a little bit more about that but basically um, if I want it to set it so that if the user has a tablet or a larger device it's going to display these columns if not they're just going to have um, they're just going to have one single column so SM stands for tablet so you can think of it, I guess, as small. And um, I'm going to have four. Okay, so this first column, I'm going to put stuff in there. And then because I have three columns, I'm going to put that here. Now, four plus four plus four adds up to 12, which is what we want. These three, whatever, however many columns you have, the number has to add up to 12. Okay, so let's now put some information in each column. So there's my paragraph that I have put inside the first column. So I'm now going to do the second column. 
So there's my information for my second column and now in my third column. So if you just watch what this looks like, okay, I now have three columns. First column here, second column here, third column here. Now, what is the point of this SM? The point of that is if I reduce the width of the page from a desktop size to a tablet size, it will have three columns. But as soon as it gets smaller than a tablet, it's going to become one column. So this is about a width of the tablet. Okay, so um, if I want to say, let's say, um, if I want it so that when it becomes a desktop width, I'm going to have three columns. But when it gets to the when it gets to the um, tablet, I only want two columns. So what I do is now, as you guys know, one row has 12 columns. So if you want to split it up into two columns, you're going to change it to six columns each. So when it is on a tablet, I'm going to split this up into two columns. But when it is on a desktop, okay, a desktop is uh, according to getbootstrap.com, which I'll show you the references so on getbootstrap.com if you go to css slash css slash grid it tells you that uh, medium devices is coal hyphen md hyphen so 970 pixels so if the width is bigger than or equal to 992 pixels have three columns so i'm going to put in here col MD uh, 4. Okay, so put that here as well. And let's just see what happens. I'm going to get rid of this row. Actually, I'm going to insert a line after that so it becomes more obvious. So save it. And let's see what it looks like. So this is a desktop, obviously I have three columns, but if I reduce the width, okay, if I reduce the width, it becomes two columns. And then if I reduce it even further to smaller than a tablet, it becomes one column. So yeah, that's basically the bootstrap grid system. And now I'm just gonna put a picture, um, let's say on top of each column to make it a bit better. So I just downloaded these three pictures of Pixabay. So in case you don't know about this website, pixabay.com, it's got basically pictures all for free. So that's really good. So I downloaded them off the website and now I'm gonna insert it into each of the columns. So in Dreamweaver, you can actually just insert it by dragging it on, all right, which is cool. And tennis. So drag on tennis and drag on um, ballroom dancing. Now, you actually don't want to specify the height and the width because they're basically just going to go with the um, with the column widths. Okay, so just press F12, see what happens. Oh, so the pictures are screwed up. So what you want to do is make sure you put in image responsive, like we talked about before. Actually, I'm just going to copy these three things. All right, and just paste that here. Because, yeah, you want them. I want them centered. I want them responsive we talked about last lesson so let's try that so yeah looks a little bit better
And I guess I'm going to make the height of each picture the same so that um, so that it just looks a little bit better. So let's just bring back. Actually, I'm just going to put in here style equals height is let's say um, 100 pixels for each picture. So let's just put that in for each of the pictures. And let's F12 that and see what happens. So yeah, a little bit better. Okay, so the pictures are now um, a lot more similar. Okay, and if you resize the page, you can see it becomes two columns. When you get to smaller than a, a tablet, uh, sorry, smaller than a desktop, it becomes two columns. Smaller than tablet, it becomes one column. Okay, so that's the grid system in Bootstrap. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.